Hi, my name is Harold and welcome to the Sanctum. Hello, my dear friends. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about what is known as the three gunas. And this is essentially a, a concept that is taken from the Vedic tradition, the, the yogic tradition. Uh, and you can also find it in, in Ayurvedic medicine and um, Eastern forms of uh, thought. Essentially, the three gunas are three attributes that are there in everything in existence. We can find it within ourselves. We can find it within the food that we eat. We can find it in situations that we come in contact with in our life. We can find it in nature. We can find it absolutely everywhere. So, these three gunas are known as rajas. R-A-J-A-S, Tamas, T-A-M-A-S, and Sattvas, S-A-T-T-V-A-S, Rajas, Tamas, Sattvas. They also correspond with the um, uh, three alchemical principles in, in, um, uh, in Western thought, which is known as salt, sulfur, and mercury. They correspond very well with that, but we'll talk about that in another video. So essentially, these three attributes or gunas Rajas, Tamas, Sattvas, we can find it in every single thing that we come in contact with and within ourselves as well. And it's essentially good to, or at least I like to imagine them as three different people. Okay, So Rajas is that guy who is just really hyperactive. He's always active and distracted and jumping from place to place and, and running around the place. A really active kind of energy in that way right it's called rajas now thomas is that guy who's just lazy and just can't seem to get out of bed or just feels heavy and just doesn't want to do anything right so that's thomas and sattvas is the yogi completely balanced completely there completely in harmony with everything present peaceful focused and just there and that's sattvas. So these are these three qualities. And we can find it in absolutely everything. Right? Now the three qualities, we can find it in food. For example, rajas is called pranic negative. Right? So foods that we eat that can lead us to a certain state of energy, that can increase our energy to a certain temporarily, and then later we feel tired afterwards. It actually makes us lose energy. That's why it's called pranic negative. A prana is in life force or energy in, in the yogic tradition. And negative because it makes us lose energy. So these include foods like meat, fish, alcohol, coffee, uh, drugs, like recreational drugs, um, uh, and uh, you know, chilies, garlic, onions. These are all types of food that are rajasic in nature. Right? So they've got a lot of rajas. So when you eat them, they might give you a little bit of energy, like make you feel more energized temporarily, and then there's a big drop. You know, it's the same with coffee you drink it. You go up, and then later it comes down. So... Just like that, you know, so same with alcohol, there is a, there's an energe energetic feeling, but then the next day, oh, it's just a complete hangover. So it's the same sort of, there's a jump in energy, and then there's a huge loss. Um, so that is the quality of rajas. Then we can also find, uh, then there's tamas. So tamas is the sorts of food that uh, it is called pranic neutral. It, does, it doesn't do anything to your energy. It just is a good form of sustenance. It's there to help fill you up. But if you have a bit too much, it can make you feel really heavy and kind of like just full, right? So, for example, potatoes um, is, a, is an example of, of something that's tamzik in nature, right? Uh, also, really, really processed food, extremely processed food, which doesn't really have much nutritional value, but we seem to eat it anyway. And that kind of just makes us feel really bloated and full and like that so that's another example of of tamas it's 
it's providing us sustenance, but it's not really doing anything to our energy and to our, to our prana. Right? So it's called pranic neutral. Then there is sattvas. So this is foods that give us more energy. Right? It's called pranic positive. And when you eat it, we feel elated. We feel like we have more energy. And it's very easy to digest it. So this is stuff like, um, uh, first of all, plants. So, so green plants, you know, spinach, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, that sort of thing. Uh, fruits, berries, uh, apples, oranges, um, all, all, the, all the fruits, you know, strawberries, blueberries, all that. Nuts, you know, peanuts, hazelnuts, etc. Ground nuts. Uh, pulses, you know, like lentils. Lentils are actually a superfood. They're highly pranic positive. Honey is another one that's a superfood. Think about it because the it's essentially liquid sun honey because the the bees are kind of gathering the nectar from the flowers they take it back to their little lab which is their hive and it goes it goes through an alchemical process and that's pure solar energy collected by the plant and the bees collect it take it to their hive process it and it forms honey liquid sun and we eat that we feel a lot of energy so that's a that's a, also a superfood it's the same with lentils um so this is an example of pranic positive food and when we eat pranic positive food it increases our vibration it increases our energy we need less sleep uh, our body can function better we focus much better um we become a lot more calmer our mind can relax much easier we can become more meditative in nature so this is why you know yogis and um, and people who practice certain forms of uh, esotericism choose to eat more or sometimes only the uh, pranic positive foods because that will give them more energy and the more energy you have the more energy you can use to work with right so this is an example of how the three gunas are expressing itself through food now it, you can also see it expressing itself through yourself now, when you wake up, um, uh, some mornings you may wake up and you may feel just like, oh, it's just one of those days. You don't want to get out of bed. Uh, uh, you, you were planning to go out to play some tennis or go to the gym, but you're just like, oh, I'm not going to do that because you just don't feel like getting out of bed. So you oversleep. So the tamzik principle is a lot stronger that morning. Or there might be some mornings you get up and you just get out of bed and you're a bit overactive. Your mind is scattered is a bit scattered and energetic and you're you're a little bit hyperactive. So that's more the the um, Rajasic quality expressing itself. And some days might be just so good and smooth. You get up perfectly on time, you do your meditation and your exercises and your practices and you feel really good and focused and productive and you're able to do things very well. You see where the sattvic principle is, is active in, in your life. This is also true in situations. Right? You, you may have, um, you may go to work and, and there might be one, it might be one of those days where it's very busy and everybody's running all over the place. And you can see that it's very rajasic in nature. There might be another day where there's nothing happening. It's just so boring. So you're just there kind of twiddling your thumbs. Um, so it's a bit more tamzik in nature. Then you might be very sattvic where everybody's kind of focused doing their thing and just calm and, you know, time just flies that day and things just seem to be get done perfectly and all well. So that's the sattvic principle. So you can see these principles are there in every, you can see that even in nature and you'll see it everywhere in action once you become aware of it. So now how this is useful is using the breath. If you have one of those mornings where you wake up and you're feeling it, you're, you're a little bit rajasic or a little bit tamzik, there are ways in which you can bring that energy out. Because remember, everything is energy, including this. And by you being aware of that now, you can tap into that particular quality and push it out of the body and bring into your body those qualities of sattvas which you want. And this is how you would do that. You'd simply sit in a comfortable posture or in a cross leg posture or upstanding or even lying on your bed and you would bring your attention first of all take a deep, few deep breaths in and bring your attention around your body and when you bring your attention around your body you start to become aware of that feeling of life force that is permeating around your body and as you breathe in for four seconds you imagine that 
sattvas is around you in whatever way is appropriate for you. Maybe you can imagine that as beautiful green energy and rajas as red and, uh, and um, tamas as yellow. You can use those correspondences or any correspondence that is associated uh, that you prefer. But the idea is you have the intention that it is sattvas that you're now bringing into the body and you take a deep breath in for four seconds and you imagine that your entire body and your energy is absorbing the sattvas in, into your body and you hold your breath for four seconds with the sattvas now in your body for four seconds and then you breathe out tamas or rajas depending on which one you want to get rid of. So if it's tamas you imagine yellow energy in your body and you're breathing that out for four seconds and all of that leaves your body and you hold the breath for four seconds and then again you're drawing in sattvas for four seconds and you're holding your breath for four seconds bringing out pushing out tamas once again for four seconds holding for four seconds and you repeat this for about five minutes until you notice you're a lot more balanced and you can do this in terms of cultivating any of the Gunas. So let's say for whatever reason you want to bring in Rajas, let's just say you can do that same thing with that and get rid of rid of Tamas. Or if you want to bring in Tamas for whatever reason and get rid of Rajas, you can do that do, do that too. All you do is you do the same breathing exercise, but use the appropriate guna you bring that you want to bring into your body and you want to send out of the body in that way. So but of course depending on what you're looking for, it's most likely that you're looking to be more balanced and calm and steady. And that's where you want to bring in sattvas into the body. So it's a very um, useful piece of knowledge to use and um, it does work. So do experiment with it and let me know how, how, it, how it helps you. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like this video and subscribe and share it with all your friends. And I shall see you very soon. Take care.